Okay, Joe, we've gotten a lot of rainfall over the last few weeks, and which is good for the wheat, but what does it do for the weeds? Uh, it feeds the weeds just as well as the wheat crop. Uh, with the, the rain and, and warm temperatures we've had for the last oh, four or six weeks here maybe, basically since most guys have planted their wheat, uh, those weeds have taken off and then really grown very, very quickly. So what I would recommend is as those weeds are growing, actively growing with the warm temperatures and moisture, that uh, they get out there and try and control those weeds here sometime this fall for the best activity from the herbicide, but also uh, to give the crop the best opportunity to provide the highest yields uh, come harvest time. Now, what kind of weeds are we talking about here? Well, in Oklahoma, of course, our, our biggest weed problem is, is our winter annual grass weeds. So things like Italian ryegrass, cheat, rescue grass, downy broom, all, all of those grass weeds that are somewhat difficult to control in wheat. Uh, we've got a lot of good herbicide options available. A lot of them are, are fairly specific to the, to the grass weed. So proper identification is, is very, very important there. So you can choose the, the appropriate herbicide. Uh, this, this fall, with, with, again with the warm temperatures, a lot of the broadleaf weeds, some of the mustards and henbit, those weeds have really exploded as well. And uh, those are fairly easy to control. We've got a lot of good herbicide options there as well that can be either tank mixed with our grass control product, or we could control those in the spring with, with some other herbicides that we might want to use on a little bit larger wheat. Now, what farming practices should farmers implement to control this problem? Well, right now, uh, once the wheat's out of the ground, really herbicides are, are the best option, the most effective option. Um, if a guy has a, a particular problem that, that he just can't quite get a, a handle on, or if it seems to persist year to year, then crop rotation is going to be an invaluable tool. Probably the most valuable thing we can do to increase our wheat production and quality here in Oklahoma. Uh, winter canola makes an excellent rotational crop where we can use a, a totally new group of herbicides to get, to get a handle on these weed problems. Uh, but any of our summer crops would also be very effective as well and allow us to use new herbicides at a, at a different time of year and more effectively control some of these, these tough to control weeds. Okay, good information. Joe Armstrong, our Extension Weed Specialist.